What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Adrian, the web scraping guy. If you need anything scraped, uh, bots created, crawlers, email me, adrian at thewebscrapingguy.com. And today we are going to be using AI to uh, scrape web pages. So the scraping portion, we're not using AI for, we're using it for uh, the extraction portion, I guess you could say. So uh, using AI to extract data from web pages. So for this, I've already built one that actually scrapes or extracts, or shoot, that gets all of the data from a website or most of it in this case, and then inserts that into a file called all site text. Yeah, like right here. And then use OpenAI to extract specific portions of that text or of that site. Uh, the problem is that doesn't work super, super well. Uh, it works decently well. Um, but what I figured I would do in this uh, video is just do one page, one for me, I need to build it anyway. And then two uh, might be helpful to do a whole tutorial um, just kind of on the fly here. So no, not a lot of preparation. Uh, yeah. So we're, yeah, we're just going to do it uh, kind of from the ground up. So we're gonna use this, and this is basically it. Uh, this is all you need. Yeah, and it's not uh, it's not that hard actually to do. So yeah, we're just gonna be following along this, and I'll try to put it in the uh, the description. So let's go. Um, we're gonna create this new file called AI Scraper.js, and we're just going to yeah load the document. So yeah, you have to, in, this is JavaScript obviously, so you're gonna be screwed if you don't have JavaScript, but the, yeah, there's documentation uh, for Python as well. So we're just gonna copy everything here and you're gonna install it. Um, and you need node version 18, so if you have node B, yeah. In order for Langchain to work, so you're gonna install Langchain. Yeah, and they actually, the example is of a web post or a uh, web page. So um, yeah, very easy to follow along with. So then we are going to do this. Let's see. So, and I'll try to narrate uh, as best as I can, but I mean, I'm no expert in this, but you're going to use this loader. So this is Cheerio web-based loader. So that doesn't render JavaScript. They do have a puppeteer one. So let's see if I just, uh, n no, it doesn't automatically uh, happen, but yeah, they have puppeteers. So if you need to render JavaScript, you just use that. And then it's important that you use this loader and then this uh, loader that they have here, or I guess that's the same thing, loader.load, because then you're gonna feed that into this recursive uh, character text splitter, which is what is going to enable you to like chunk the data out and let you query that. Whereas now, you know, there's no way that you could put this in the chat GPT because you would uh, go over the token limit. So I think we're actually going to want to bump these up a little bit, at least that's what worked for me. And that's what was really helpful. Yeah, it was bumping this up uh, for chunk size and chunk overlap. So yeah, that's, I believe, yeah, it's just the tokens, the amount of tokens, so 4,000 tokens you know, is gonna be one chunk. And then, yeah, the overlap between this chunk is pretty easy, I think, self-explanatory. Split docs, so this is, yeah, we're going to split them some way. And then, yeah, we're going to use this vector store. And you can use, so this one, so this is like where Pinecone comes in. So Pinecone is also a vector store, like a vector database. But since we're not interested in storing the data, we just need an answer. We need to get the web page, need an answer, and then return it. Um, then, yeah, we don't really care about storing it because we don't need to store it for long term. But if you, and it obviously, uh, it's a little bit slower if we needed to insert it into Pinecone and cost a little bit. So we're just doing everything in memory here. So yeah, we're just using this memory vector store. And just like they say here, uh, yeah, using an unoptimized in-memory example, but you can browse integrations there. So far, um, this has actually worked uh, pretty well, I think. 
for uh, my use case. So yeah, in this embeddings, we're going to use the open AI embeddings and you're just going to yeah, put those in. And yeah, then we're gonna retrieve. So this is similarity search. Uh, so that doesn't actually help us because yeah, that, that's not the question. It's just like how similar these things are. But it looks like, yeah, here we go. This is what we need. Uh, yeah, and that's the model. And then that is gonna yeah, retrieve from, from the MLM, just like it talks about. And then, yeah, we're just gonna run it and see what happens. Node AI scraper.js. Pray to God that this works. No. Hmm. Chat open AI. Oh, missed all of this. Let's go. So that's for this one. Let's try uh, a little bit harder of a thing. Uh, I've never actually tried to scrape this before. Uh, so we're gonna see just on the fly how it goes. Uh, maybe just a, a better example. Let's do one that I know actually works. Let's do my website and we're going to ask what yeah, services does this company offer? Uh, okay, so um, too many tokens. So let's just do like 2,000 tokens. This company offers web uh, custom scraping solutions, solutions for businesses. They help client, clients find leads, save time, and gain insights by scraping websites. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, crap. That's not what I want. Right here and Amazon crap. Okay, so this doesn't work as well. Right here, they have experience in blah 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 blah. So yeah, worked right there. So let's try Amazon. And how easy was that, right? Dad gone. Like pretty freaking easy. Uh, and let's ask like, what is the name of this product? And yeah, never actually scraped Amazon before, so we'll see what happens. Oh, 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 then, oh, buddy, it works. So let's say, what is the price of what is the price of this product? Holy cow, this was easy. <laughs> Dang, dude. Holy cow, that's cool. Yeah, I've actually have yeah, have never tried it like that before. So, obviously if we needed, let's just try it right now. We are going for it. Yeah, cuz that was so easy puppeteer. Oh, okay, that's not. Uh oh. Okay, that's not helpful. I'm gonna go here, lang chain loader puppeteer. Yeah, here we go. Oops, here we go. Yeah, keeping that one. I love that. Look at that puppeteer base loader. And then I want to use one. So we need a something that is going to load uh, Java or uh, yeah, have JavaScript. Blender. So let us do Coach Prime sunglasses and see if it works with that. And we're gonna ask what is the name of this product? Uh, what in the world? Too old to have a stick up here. Good to have a struggle to pop up. Okay, sure. Holy crap. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so cool. What is the price of this product? And obviously, then, if you wanted to ask all these questions at once, you could put all these things in a uh, await promise.all. It's 67. Oh my god. Holy crap. How cool is that? 
Oh my god. Yeah, so that's it. So uh, scrape to your heart's content uh, with AI and good luck. <laughs>